the same rank, and not everyone is called from the same gate, but everyone who eventually gets in is going to be pleased. The angel from another gate calls out and says, Allah ma'a'ti munfiqan khalafa, Allah ma'a'ti mumsikan talafa. Oh Allah, give back more to the one who gives, and give destruction to the one who withholds. <laughs> Ramadan Mubarak guys, I think it's I think it's day 10 of Ramadan. I'm not entirely sure. Um it's like what time is it? It's like 8 o'clock and I don't really know what I want to do right now. I woke up at like 5, did suhoor, and then I prayed Fajr, read some Quran, and did Arabic. And then I was watching YouTube videos and now I have schoolwork to do and then I also have emails that I need to answer and then I also have like videos to plan and post for like TikTok and stuff like that um, that I've really been procrastinating so I think I'm gonna reply to emails first because I really need to get around to that it's been days and I've been ghosting people and they need me to answer so Basically, I got tired of doing emails, so I thought I would do a Q&A, and I already filmed this, but then I looked back at the footage, and it was like in and out of focus, and it was really bothering me, so I'm gonna refilm it. The first question was, what is something that you are insecure about? I feel like this is kind of like an annoying answer, but I think it's my personality and just feeling that people don't like me or that weird or annoying or stuff like that. I feel like that's just an insecurity that I had since I was a kid and it just stuck with me. Since I was young, I never really had a lot of friends and so I kind of grew up, like I grew up with a lot of insecurities. Obviously, I don't let it stop me from doing the things that I want to do or like putting myself out there but it's also always a thought that you have at the back of your mind. Do you have a secret hunch about how you will die? I mean obviously it's not a hunch, like you never know how you're gonna die, only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows how and when you're gonna die. But one thing I am really really scared of is like dying in my sleep. I don't know why there are some nights where I literally will get into bed and think this is it, like I am not waking up tomorrow. And it is honestly the scariest feeling in the entire world. I don't think there's a feeling that is scarier than that. Obviously, I don't know if I'm going to die like that, but it's just something that I always think about. And it's very terrifying. How do you stay motivated? I'm going to give you the same answer that literally everyone else will give you, and that's the fact that it's not really about staying motivated. I love that feeling of being motivated because it gives you like dopamine and you have a lot of energy and you're really excited about doing things, but it's not sustainable. And so everyone says, and it is true, that you need to learn to be more disciplined and rely on discipline to help you achieve your goals. Discipline is not easy, especially for me. I'm a very type B person. Like, I do things when I feel like it. I'm very like, I don't know, never really have a strict plan. I do follow routines, but the reason why I do is mainly because I've made certain things just like a part of my identity and my brain does things because it's convinced that that's who I am and I like to do it because it is who I am and it aligns with my identity. If you can change the way that you see yourself and your beliefs surrounding who you are and the things that you do, and you can basically change your behaviors and it's a much easier way of kind of being disciplined starting with your own identity 
for yourself and i feel like i also did that without realizing that i did that since i was young i used to always write in my journals especially in high school i used to write about like the kind of character that i wanted to have when i was older and the person that i wanted to be the things that i wanted to achieve as well but i think the emphasis was a lot on like who i wanted to be and like someone that i would be proud of and so like i would write about it and then it eventually got to the point where i realized that like i can literally be this person today there are so many things that this girl would do that i can literally do right now in order to become her and then you eventually realize that if you don't start doing implementing those things if you don't start becoming that person today then you're never going to become that person like there always has to be a bridge between today and tomorrow and if you don't do something today then you're not going to do it tomorrow if you don't do something now then you're not going to do it in the future our entire lives are just a series of todays that are repeated over and over and over and over again and so if you can't implement something into your life right now then like what makes you think that you're going to be able to implement it later on in life really shape your identity your goals around your identity and not specific tangible goals which is kind of the opposite of what a lot of people would tell you people say to have specific tangible goals that you can work towards but i think that only works once you've really framed your identity and who you are so start by having all your goals be like characteristic and identity based goals this is who i want to be and this is how I want to act. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And then eventually you'll get to the point where things just become easy for you. You tell yourself you are the type of person that puts in the effort every single day for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, whether you are tired, whether you are lazy, whether you are sick, like no matter what it is, you're going to put in the effort, whether it's a little or a lot, you're just going to do something for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You're going to show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala how much you love him and how much you are grateful to him and just make that become a part of who you are and eventually it just becomes super easy like it becomes second nature because you've already told yourself that this is who i am and so it's not like an accomplishment it's an expectation that you have for yourself and like your mind knows that your body knows that so you don't even have to be disciplined at that point anymore because you're gonna do it because that's who you are i don't know if that makes any sense but whatever i'm moving on from this question i feel like i've rambled so much i genuinely explained it better the first time but whatever for what in your life do you feel the most grateful um a hundred percent it's the people the people that i'm surrounded with my family my sisters they're very annoying but i love them my best friend just the people that allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts into your life they really do shape who you are i'm surrounded by so many good influences i don't think anything could like come close what is the greatest accomplishment of your life i don't really think i have a greatest accomplishment i can't really think of anything that i'm proud of I feel like the greatest accomplishment would just be whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most pleased with. Like whatever deed that you did that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the most pleased with. But you don't really figure that out until the next life. So what is the biggest red flag in people? Oh my god. I have something very specific. But people who are so quick to like speak so highly and so positively about themselves but then in the same sentence tear down everyone else like people who say like oh my god i am such a good person i have the best heart in the world i'm so kind i'm so selfless but everyone else takes advantage of me and they abuse my good heart and they like do this and that i am just like whoa like first of all how do you in good consciousness speak that highly of yourself like anyone with any self-awareness would know that like they are not perfect they might think they are doing the right thing all the time but they could be doing something that like is hurting someone else without even realizing it like they're not doing it intentionally they're not doing it on purpose but that could it could be perceived that way from someone else same way those other people that are taking advantage of you and like that are so selfish and are hurting you they could tr be doing what they think is best we all as human beings have limited knowledge so we're not always going to be perfect we're not always going to interact with each other in the most ideal way like i could be doing something genuinely trying to help but could be making it worse and like vice versa so i don't know but just people who always like victimize themselves but then glorify themselves and like bring down other people all in one sentence that's like my biggest red flag i cannot stand people like that honestly okay i think that's it hopefully my camera's not dead okay i'm gonna go to school because i have group work to do on a sunday and i'm fasting all 
actually hate the weather right now. It's like cold. It's like sunny, but it's like cold. It's like windy. I really want the weather to get warmer again. I actually can't do this. I don't know what it is, but I am genuinely so hungry right now. And it's only like 3.30. I'm done working. Um, now I'm gonna go pray and then go home. I'm so hungry. There's five minutes until I start and I am 10 minutes away from my house. So. It's our time now. Oh, and it's like, so that is, hungry. It's like that time now. I'm so hungry. I just had my room. I can go to my classes. I can't wait. That's a good thing. It's like this light whispering, not whispering. I'm sleeping.